Unit 7, Lesson 17, Common Multiples. Number 1A. A green light blinks every 4 seconds and a yellow light blinks every 5 seconds. When will both lights blink at the same time? Look at the bottom and you'll see that I've listed the multiples of 4 all the way up through 40 and the multiples of 5 all the way up through 40. And starting from smallest to greatest, you'll notice that 20 is the first common multiple, making 20 the least common multiple. So every 20 seconds, both lights will blink at the same time. The green light and the yellow light will blink at the same time every 20 seconds. 20 seconds, 40 seconds, 60 seconds, and so on. And that's because the least common multiple of 4 and 5 is 20. B. A red light blinks every 12 seconds and a blue light blinks every 9 seconds. When will both lights blink at the same time? I made a list of some of their multiples and now I need to search for the least common multiple. I noticed that the least common multiple for 12 and 9 is 36. So the red light and the blue light will blink at the same time every 36 seconds. At 36, at 72, and so on. The red and blue light will blink at the same time every 36 seconds because 36 is the least common multiple of 12 and 9. C. Explain how to determine when two lights will blink together. Well, to figure out when two lights would blink together, you determine what their least common multiple is. Number 2. A. List all multiples of 10 up to 100. To list multiples, you just count by that particular number. For example, to list multiples of 10, you'd count by 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. B. List all multiples of 15 up to 100. It's the same idea. We're going to count by 15. 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, and 90. C. What is the least common multiple of 10 and 15? Well, let's look at the multiples of 10 and look at the multiples of 15 and find the numbers that are in common and then select the smallest one. The smallest multiple that they have in common, or the least common multiple, is 30. The least common multiple of 10 and 15 is 30. Number 3. Cups are sold in packages of 8. Napkins are sold in packages of 12. A. What is the fewest number of packages of cups and the fewest number of packages of napkins that can be purchased so there will be the same number of cups as napkins? I've listed a few of the multiples of 8 and I've listed a few of the multiples of 12. Now we need to look for the least common multiple. The least common multiple of 8 and 12 is 24. 24 is the third multiple of 8 and 24 is the second multiple of 12. So you'd have to buy three packages of cups and two packages of napkins. B. How many sets of cups and napkins will there be? Originally the word was plates but I crossed it out and wrote cups because we're talking about cups and not plates. There will be 24 sets of cups and 24 sets of napkins. Number 4. Rectangle ABCD is drawn on a coordinate plane. A equals negative 6 and 9 and B equals 5 and 9. What would be the locations of points C and D? Well the location for C could be at 6 and negative 9 and the location for D could be at 5 and negative 9. Number 5. A school wants to raise $2,500 to support its music program. A. If it has met 20% of its goal so far, how much money has it raised? I decided to build a table with the dollar goal on the left and the percent of the goal on the right. $2,500 is 100% of the goal, I'd like to divide 100% by 100 to figure out what 1% of the goal would be. 100% divided by 100 equals 1%. And since I divided the right column by 100, I have to divide the left-hand column by 100. 2,500 divided by 100 equals 25. 
so 1% of the goal would be $25. If they met 20% of their goal, we could figure out the dollar amount now by multiplying 1% times 20. 1% times 20 equals 20%. Now we need to multiply 25 times 20. And 25 times 20 is 500. So 20% of the goal would be $500. If they met 20% of their goal so far, then they would have raised $500 so far. B. If it raises 175% of its goal, how much money will the music program receive? Show your reasoning. Let's use the information that we discovered while using the table. 1% equals $25, and we can multiply this 1% by a number to get 175%, and we'll multiply 25 times that same number to get the unknown amount. 1% times 175 equals 175%. 25 times 175 equals 4,375. So if the school raises 175% of its goal, the music program would receive $4,375. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 7, Lesson 17, Common Multiples.